If you wanna make sure your house sells for as much money as possible and as fast as possible, this video is for you. Let's go. What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon Peters. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles County and thanks so much for checking out the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a video. Okay, so we both know homes are selling really fast and with multiple offers. That doesn't mean that there's not prep work and steps that need to be taken in order to make sure your home sells really fast and with multiple offers. If you think iPhone photos or your home being filled to the ceiling with furniture is gonna help you sell that house, then you need to listen closely. The first step you could take to get that house looking in pristine condition is simply decluttering. When a buyer comes to your house, they don't wanna see all of your junk. They wanna see your house. They wanna see every room, every corner of every room, and doing some decluttering is definitely gonna make that happen, especially if you've been in your house for maybe 30, 40 years. Decluttering is definitely gonna do you justice. Now let's talk about making some necessary repairs or even necessary upgrades to the house. I'm not talking about doing a full-blown rehab to this property. I'm just talking about doing some basic upgrades to it. Paint maybe carpet, repainting your cabinets, and installing new countertops. We don't need to spend a lot of money to get a lot of money back in return. So say you spend $5,000 remodeling your kitchen, but now that $5,000 returned you $20,000, that's a good return on your investment. We don't want to spend a dollar just to get a dollar back. We want to spend a dollar to get four or five dollars back. And we wanna make sure you are walking out with as much money as possible. But aside from just basic remodels or upgrades to the property, we wanna make sure that if there's any potential issues a buyer would have, like say a roof leak or missing smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, a water heater not being strapped, let's take care of those now before we get the home on the market. Now that leads me to my next point is getting an inspection or a termite inspection prior to getting the house on the market. Moving is already a stressful process, right? Can we agree on that? Moving in itself is already a stressful process. What we wanna do is relieve you of some of that stress by uncovering some potential future issues now before they happen. Let's say you do a home inspection, now you find out that the roof needs to be replaced or maybe something's wrong with your AC unit and or I don't know, a water leak. We now know that there's some items wrong with your house. It's up to you if you want to take care of them now before we put the house in escrow or wait till the buyer does their home inspection and see what they have to say. The nice thing about that is you know what the potential problems are going to be and we know what we're going to do when they come up. It's not going to be a surprise to you later when the buyer does their home inspection and brings those items up to you. Okay, now we've done the steps that we needed to take to get our home ready to list and the realtor has got the photographer scheduled. Real estate agents, hire a professional photographer. This is 2021, do, do I really need to say this? Why do we have photos still like this? <coughs> Better yet, why is your realtor taking photos like that when other realtors are taking photos like this? <coughs> Just please, when you put your house on the market, hire a professional photographer. My iPhone takes great photos. The camera that I'm using to shoot this video takes great photos, but guess what? I am not a pro, let the pros get you the photos and make that house look freaking amazing. We got our photos, that house is looking super sexy. Now it's time to actually get it in the MLS and get it live. So when you put your house on the market, there's actually a few different ways that you could price your property so it sells. The first one is that Hail Mary price, the, the goal. If you could get this, that would be the dream if you can get this price. The second one, of course, being right at fair market value. And the last one, I'm sure you already know where I'm going with this pricing it aggressively below what the market says that property is actually worth. What way do you think is the best way to price a property? I'll tell you what I think. Pricing the home aggressively. Why do we do that? Is it because we wanna sell your house for less money? Absolutely freaking not. Why would I, the real estate agent, wanna sell your house for less money? It's just gonna make me look bad and it's gonna make you guys hate me. I wanna show all the neighbors that I'm the best freaking realtor there is. I wanna show you that I'm the best freaking realtor there is. And if I sell that house for less money than what it's actually worth, I'm not gonna do that, am I? The reason why we do that is activity and control. When I talk about the listing price, I actually like to refer to that as our marketing price. So we wanna put it at a price point that's gonna get as many buyers in the door as humanly possible. That's not gonna be necessarily our end goal. That's what we wanna market the property at to bring 50, 100, 150 buyers through the door in a single weekend. And then when we talk about control, 
we're talking about the difference of having one offer versus 25 offers. So the goal is we price this property aggressively. We bring you multiple offers and drive that value up where you want, but that's not necessarily what we are trying to accomplish either. It's not necessarily the highest price, it's also the terms of the offer. And you, the seller, have a lot easier time negotiating and getting the terms you want when you have 25 offers. When you only have one offer and your home's been on for three, four, five weeks, you are not in control. If that buyer doesn't get what they want, they could just say, screw this property, I'm gonna go find a different one. What we wanna do is put you in the driver's seat. So when we have an offer that we want to work with most, we are able to get you the terms that work out best for you as the homeowner. Okay, I mentioned pricing that property aggressively to bring 50, 100, 150 showings in a couple days. That's gonna take up a lot of time. So let me tell you what you should be ready to do and what you should expect when you put your house on the market. Expect a lot of showings. Be ready to maybe take off from the house for a couple hours a day to allow buyers to come into the home and preview it. We never like sellers being at the house when a buyer comes to see it because we wanna make sure the buyer feels comfortable. They could speak freely, they can do what they want, they could say what, they, well not do what they want, but say what they want. You get, you get what I'm saying. We want them to feel comfortable, we want them to feel at home, we don't want them to feel like they gotta walk on eggshells. So you, the seller, stepping out, whether it's just in the front yard or in the backyard, uh, giving them the space they need to to look through the house, is, is great and that's what every buyer is gonna want. The thing is, stepping into a backyard every time you have a showing, when you have 25 showings in a day, it's gonna be a lot of time standing outside. So we recommend finding something to do on those days that you are showing the property. Let it be a couple hours. Coordinate it with your realtor and tell them, hey, I'm willing to have the house shown from this time, this time. I'm not gonna be home, I'm gonna be out doing this. Show it as many times as you want during that, during that window of period so it doesn't affect your daily life. And my last piece of advice for you guys is to trust the professional. You hired them because you should feel like you can trust them. You should feel like they are working in your best interest to make sure you get as much money as possible. And if you aren't feeling that way, maybe you're not with the right agent. Your realtor is gonna know the best ways to effectively market. <laughs> they are gonna know the best way to prep that house and market that home to make sure you get as much money as possible and to make the escrow process as stress-free as possible for you. And that is what we want for you. We want this move to be as easy as possible. We don't want you looking back saying, Man, I'm never selling another house. That was too stressful. We want you to say, man, that was freaking easy. I know what to expect next time. That is going to be a breeze. And that's it, guys. Those are my tips for helping you sell your house for as much money as humanly possible. And that's it for this video, guys. Those are my tips for helping you guys sell your home for as much money and as fast as possible in 2021. Thanks so much for watching. Again, my name is Brandon Peters. If you found value in this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, leave a like, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Say it again. Bye! Bye! Bye. See you later! Bye.